So Gran Turismo car packs are officially here and I never thought I would live to see the day to say that we are getting basically a loot crate slash FIFA ultimate team on Gran Turismo. Such a weird combination. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, officially on Gran Turismo Germany of all places, their official Twitter account, so PlayStation Deutschland, they officially announced that they're going to be releasing a challenge hub that's going to have a lot of different challenges where you can gain credits and points that you can use to unlock cars and other perks and as well as actual physical items, which is very very bizarre but i guess it's a good way to get people to get back onto the gran turismo 7 game and also just give you know players rewards when they do certain challenges and things in that nature but the one thing that does bother me about this and it's just i don't know it's just me personally or maybe you guys actually like this feature but i mean it just seems like they're just trying to get more of a cash grab on this i'm not sure if you're gonna have to pay actual money to unlock some of these packs or if you're just gonna have to play more and more of the game to unlock these packs but i mean if you if it's you know rewarding you just by playing the game only and doing these challenges to unlock these packs and good on them but i just have a feeling that um if they're not charging now they're going to charge eventually to open up these packs and it's basically just going to be another version of fifa ultimate team where you're just throwing money real life money into this to unlock some cars and not only that um it's just it's just not in my opinion a really good business model so i just don't think that right now gran turismo or polyphony are listening to the creators listening to the players or anybody in general right now because there's so many things that just still needs to be fixed on this game that they just have not fixed yet or really touched upon or even even gave us any signs about what is going on or any awareness any news on what's going on with some of the big issues that are happening in the game like one already there's a glitch where cars are going invisible and you are unable to see them on the track and i'm not sure if that got fixed yet i haven't been playing gran turismo in the past week but i know it was happening a lot last week around both the tech laguna seca and also in other daily races that's one big glitch that you have to kind of fix because if imagine if you know you go into a brand new season of gt world series and two cars in the field are just absolutely ghosty you don't know where they're at i mean that's gonna be basically call for chaos in my opinion but not only that they still haven't fixed the multiplayer issue of having only 16 drivers in a race i mean we're already what in october the game released back in march and we are still here with 16 drivers in the lobbies when we know we can have 2022 like we used to have on gt sport but for some reason they still haven't fixed that issue there's also the issue of not even being able to sell your cars yet as we speak i don't know if they're gonna have that in the next update or if they're gonna have that ever but it just seems like right now you know you can't even sell your cars to get credits and it's i don't know I, there's just a lot of interesting decisions that polyphony is making right now with this game and uh, like I said, I don't like to be someone that just harps on the negatives on the game because this game, when it first came out, like I said, it had a lot of potential and I had a lot of fun with it. But just over time, it just has shown kind of its true colors. Me and of course, other YouTubers, other players, other racers just have fallen out of love with this brand new Gran Turismo game. And um, right now, at least for me, it just kind of feels like a chore to play, but I don't know, that's, that's just me. Anyway, so touching upon what we are actually talking about here and about the cards pack. So it looks like you are given kudos level. I'm not sure exactly what this is. Um, it just seems like uh, just points that you gain for uh, doing some challenges. I'm not sure. But uh, as you can see here, we have 1,100 points that we could spend on cards. And uh, if you go down here to the left and you go to car packs, uh, you're given three different types of bags you got bronze silver and gold the gold you have to pay three thousand of these credits silver you have to pay two thousand and the bronze you have to pay a thousand and uh look at that it just so happens that i have a thousand now i could purchase this right now i'll probably purchase it in a bit but i just kind of want to show you guys what the challenges and tasks uh, entails that they want us to do to collect some of these points so you have uh tasks like this the 100 kilometer sprint which um, gives you a thousand 
of this credit and then if you do this one that is called the labor num it is granted 4,000 credits and uh let's see what we have to do for this one it says can you get three gold medals in three days so you just have to basically uh complete challenges and get three gold medals in three days and you gain 4,000 of these credits now i'm trying to see here if you can purchase these credits with actual money but um it's fortunately not looking like you can or actually if i um see we'll redeem code I, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm looking at this. I'm not seeing anything where you have to actually use real life money. But again, it's the, it, you know, it can always change to a, where, you know, they want you to actually spend real life money to open these packs. And I, I don't know. I feel like eventually it's going to go towards that way. I think you can spend 100 credits right here to buy the exclusive card, but uh, it doesn't seem like I have enough here. Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. So you use. 10,000 of these points to gain 100,000 credits and well, honest that's kind of a bad deal in, in, in my opinion but yeah you have a lot of these different challenges here and you already have people that are doing some of these uh, challenges as well as you got a leaderboard for this no sleep challenge uh, I'm trying to see what this is if you click on participate now uh, I'm assuming it's something where you just play a game for a very long time it says uh who drives the longest it's not about driving as far as possible it's about spending as much time as possible behind the wheel accept this challenge and um you measure yourself against other participants in the leaderboard after four days top 10 will determine and you'll look forward so yeah if you do this you finish top 10 you get points and um I, I don't know it just seems like a way to get uh players to get back into the game and just kind of drive up um the amount of players that are are touching this game and who knows maybe it has to do something with the holiday season coming up and they just want to sell more of these games I don't know but yeah you can see right here there's a, a lot of different perks that you guys can buy you guys can buy some of these uh water bottles these t-shirts and uh, you can even buy some stickers and if you want you can actually buy the game again if you really want to but um yeah it's just a lot of different things that are on this and uh I'm not, I'm not quite sure how I feel about this to be quite honest like I said it's it's I think something that just released only for the German um, side of Gran Turismo I'm not sure if they're gonna roll it out for everybody else worldwide or if it's just gonna be something for Germany but yeah I mean I can log into it here even though I'm in the States I'm in my American account so I'm assuming it's something that's gonna roll out eventually for uh, worldwide but if they do well this is what you guys are gonna get you guys are gonna basically get a uh, um ultimate teams quote unquote uh version of gran turismo and as well as you know you can get some perks here or some real life physical merch now uh, we're gonna jump into the car album and do to the car packs just to see what we get because i have a thousand one hundred coins to spend so might as well spend it right now so we're gonna hit this buy button right here see what the speed points issues looks like we got uh one bronze pack continue or uh, actually let's go to the car collection let's see how do i open this bad boy up car packs oh there you go so i have my pack right here click on the bronze pack and i guess i gotta rip it up see what happens here and yeah it looks like uh gain some cars so we got a what is this a a gtr um what else did we gain a nissan sylvia a bmw Coop, M4 Coop, Subaru WRX, and the Pagani Huayra. So, cool. I, I'm not sure if I can add these cars to my garage, but if I can, cool. We just gained like five cars. And actually, that's not that bad for a bronze. I thought that was going to be, you know, shittier cars. But yeah, they actually gave us some decent cards here. And we have silver and gold. So, I'm not sure what you unlock with the gold. Maybe you unlock some legendary cars. Like, you unlock five normal cars and one legendary car. I'm not sure. I haven't really open any of them up and nor am i planning to but yeah so it looks like it goes into the garage right here we got four out of 440 maybe i didn't collect it correctly but yeah it's just basically collecting all the cards through these packs and um i don't know i, I don't know yet what to make of this i think there's bigger issues on the game that polyphony needs to focus on other than trying to sell loot crates or um you know have a knockoff version of fifa ultimate team but that's just my opinion maybe i'm in the wrong i don't know you guys let me know in the comments down below but anyways i just wanted to share this with you guys if you guys really enjoy the content hit that like button hit that subscribe button down below if you want to catch more content anyways i will catch you guys on the next one peace